everyone, this is Max Simplifier. Today I'm going to be showing you a very good video about the jailbreak of the iOS 5. Now, there are some disadvantages behind this because this is actually a tethered jailbreak. And the meaning of tethered jailbreak is that every time you reboot your device, you have to connect it to your computer and act and open up uh, Red Snow once again. I'm going to explain more about this at the end of the video. For the current time, to jailbreak your iOS 5, you need Red Snow for the Mac version 0.9.9 v5. You're going to find this folder in the description below as a download link. Once you have downloaded it, know that it can only work on the iPhone 4, the iPad, and the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation. Okay, and it won't work on the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. I'm not sure whether it will work on the iPhone 3GS or not, but uh, I'm pretty sure of the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, and the iPad. So here's what you're supposed to do. You plug in your iOS device, in my case it's the iPhone, into your Mac, and once that's done, you switch it off by pressing the power button and then sliding to power off. Once you've done that, we open up Red Snow, okay? Uh, as I said, you're going to find the download link in the description below, and then you're going to find two options over here. The extras option, I'm going to discuss about it in the end, but for now, we need to jailbreak it, so we go to the jailbreak. Once you go to the jailbreak, those are the instruction guides that I've told you about at the beginning of this video, about plugging it, uh, plugging it in and then turning it off and all of that. Next, you need to enter DFU mode. Now, if you are really not, not a beginner and you don't know how to enter DFU mode, you press on next and you follow the instructions exactly, exactly as they are. Because if you are an unexperienced person and you enter DFU mode in the wrong way, you actually end up in the recovery mode, which would require you to reinstall the iOS and restore your iPhone, which takes a lot of time. Okay, but if you already know how to enter DFU mode, there's no need to press next. Simply press on the power button for three seconds. And while holding the power button, you press on the home button for an extra 10 seconds. And once that's done, you remove your finger from the power button while leaving your finger on the house button uh, for an extra 15 seconds and once that's done okay you can enter DFU mode if you haven't got my instructions clearly you can press on next to read the instructions and follow them as they are stated over here once that's done your, your Mac starts to jailbreak your iPhone and soon it will tell you that the rest of the jailbreak stuff takes place on your iPhone and then the iPhone jailbreaks and everything and then it reboots and you go to the lock, lock screen However, don't be happy about that, because if you do so, and you go to the home screen, you're going to find the CTL icon, but you're not going to find the original icon of it, you're going to find the plain white icon, and when you open it up, it's going to close immediately once again. So that's the problem. So to fix this problem, this problem is actually nothing more than because it's a tether jailbreak. And because it's a tether jailbreak, here is what you're supposed to do. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that in a tether jailbreak, once you reboot your device, you have to connect it to your Mac and then go open Red Snow. Here's what you're supposed to do. After you have jailbroken your device in such a way, you go to the extras over here and you press on Just Boot. You press on Just Boot, okay, and you enter DFU mode. But once again, make sure that your iPhone 4 or your iPhone is blocked into your Mac and switched off and then you enter DFU mode, you follow the same whole steps that you did earlier with the jailbreak. Unlike this, it, re it reboots into a, tethered, uh, into a tethered jailbreak form, and like this CJ can work, and you can install applications from it and everything. This is exactly the same thing that you will be doing later onwards whenever you re reboot your device. Once, you're re once you have rebooted your device for any sort of reason, the battery has gone down or you have turned it off for any sort of reason, then once again, once you connect, you, uh, once you open it up, CDI is not going to work, Instacracked apps are not going to work. That's why you have to connect it back once again, go to Red Snow, and then Extras, and then just boot and follow the same exact instructions. You have to keep on doing this every single time your iPhone reboots. Connect to your Mac and do this whole thing. So that's the only disadvantage of jailbreak. Jailbreak. It's a tethered jailbreak. However, don't worry. In about two months, maximum in about two weeks, maximum one month, the untethered jailbreak will be re released. Now that's it for the jailbreak. Now that your iPhone has been jailbroken, you can visit Cydia and download the tweaks that you already had on your previous version of the iPhone. However, I would like to mention something extra: that from Cydia, if you install Installus and you inst like the rest of the tweaks get installed, as installs gets installed, there are really some great news. And the great news are 
that, uh, how should I say this? If you go to install us and install it, okay, then you go to iTunes. In the first place, when you had the previous version of the iOS and your iPhone jailbroken and you have gotten cracked apps, okay, on your iPhone, you used to send those cracked apps into the apps over here in, the, in iTunes by saying transfer purchases from that iPhone. Okay, and I did that really at the first time, and like this, I've gotten actually the paid apps over here in, I in iTunes, but they're all cracked in such a way that if my iPhone is not jailbroken or if install wasn't installed, every time I try to just apply them and synchronize with my iPhone, they actually won't install. After you have actually installed Installus and jailbroken your iPhone in this manner that I told you about, you can actually get back your cracked apps that are stored there on your iTunes right onto your iPhone and the amazing the amazing thing is your progress in any application in any game remains exactly the same as you left it in the previous iOS version so if, if for example you were in Angry Birds and you were at a certain level once you actually jailbreak your iOS 5 and get the correct app once again from iTunes you're going to find yourself at the same progress at the same level everything is the same which is something really amazing so and that's it for this video so thank you very much for watching this video please remember to subscribe and if you have any comments leave it below